Welcome back to a new cleaning motivational video. I hope you guys are ready for all the motivation that I have for you guys today because we are continuing this fall deep cleaning over here in my house because it definitely needs a friends and we're getting it done today so that I could get my Christmas decorations up and my kids are super excited as well. So that's what we're doing today and I hope that you guys enjoy it and get motivated. Get lost inside, lose track of time yeah. Oh, and inside We got nothing to hide Wanna see your skin on mine There's something about you Something about you You know I crave your touch But we don't need to rush Something about you, something about you I know it's hard to find Listen, it's a sign Cause it's sorry actually going to do the carpet washing in the living room because this day was the same day that I was doing part of the deep cleaning in the kitchen. I did help him do all the dusting and everything before he started the carpet washing. That way it was a little bit faster and he was able to get the carpet washed faster so that it could get dried up the same day. And right now, I was actually just reteaching him how to use the carpet washer so that he could do it properly. He said that he didn't really remember. That's why I was doing a few passes for him. And then I was going to give some stuff for Kimberly to help us deep clean the walls. Jimena had done some Picasso art on them. And she volunteered to help us clean it. Like I said before, friends, we get our kids involved. And if they want to help we always try to make it fun and exciting for them to help that way they learn how to do the things and they get motivated with us i just feel like that's why our kids want to learn to clean she did wanted me to give her the spray bottle and i just knew that if i did that she was going to play with the dump power wash and waste it all and not get it clean so i just explained to her look this sponge is a magic sponge and it actually erases everything you want to erase. So you're going to spray a little bit of this Dawn Power Wash and scrub a little and it's gone. And she actually cleaned the whole walls, friends. I didn't help her 
but that part and she did it all by herself and she was so proud of it too and here i am spot treating the carpet because jimena snack spills and how disgusting is this water friends this was my husband's first pass on the carpet and i did tell him why are you wearing socks while washing the carpet he did take him off later but i left him washing the carpet and I continue with the deep cleaning. And that's what we were doing today. Just cleaning our house. My older son was actually deep cleaning his room as well. Getting it ready to get decorated. Would you like coffee or tea? Americano or espresso? This was actually on Saturday, friends. This is when we continued the deep cleaning in the living room. The living room dried up. We moved back the couches. But I needed to do some deep cleaning in the compartments and the couches and just dusting. So that's what me and my son were doing. My husband had actually taken the girls out to the park and Caleb was taking a nap. So we had time in the morning to get it all done. And that's what we're going to do right now. Doesn't really matter to me I just need you We can see the night in Paris Then we kiss another As I started to vacuum, I noticed that the vacuum was struggling to pick up things and I knew the roller was full of hair and yes it was so I quickly got some scissors and cut off all the hair and cleaned it out. Can't even lie that it's not my hair, it was mostly red but honestly this time around my hair didn't even fall out that much with my postpartum but it was doing good actually my hair was already growing back in and just being a little bit more healthy than the last few pregnancies and how often do you guys clean your vacuums like the rollers because i definitely have to clean it at least every two weeks with me and my daughter and she has super long hair as well i don't know i feel like it's always full of hair you Sick of all the same dudes running up Follow you around, hope you fall in love But they don't see you like I do, yeah, yeah All your friends, they see it too That I'm the one who looks you in the eye Speaking like I mean it, what's inside, I don't want No these are just try and play the part But I'm the one who made it to your heart Yeah, I show up on time, I know you need that love you everything that you don't hear enough I fly you out to Paris, see the way they staring Always on my mind, you know I need that love Yeah, I show up on time, I know you need that love Tell you everything that you don't hear enough I fly you out to Paris, see the way they staring Always on my mind, you know I need that love You know I'm always one step ahead of you Holding open doors when you're walking up Cause they don't see me like you do, yeah There's nothing I won't do for you I'll be there for you I'll be whatever you need for me I'll be even when it's hard Just know I'll be holding it together Girl, you know that's on me Yeah, I'm the one who looks you in the eyes Speaking like I'm meaning what's inside I don't want no these I just try and play the part but I'm the one who made it to your heart 
Yeah, I show up on time, I know you need that love Tell you everything that you don't hear enough I fly you out to Paris, see the way they staring Always on my mind, you know I need that love Yeah, I show up on time, I know you need that love Tell you everything that you don't hear enough I fly you out to Paris, see the way they staring Always on my mind, you know I need that I was telling my son that I was going to see who had the most items in the couch compartments because I always find the most random things. Like they had a whole bunch of pencils, colors. I found a liquid IV packet. I found candy. I found some parts for their games. A whole bunch of socks. Definitely socks. I found a lot of random things. What is the most random object you guys find in your couches? Because... I for sure have found like really strange ones. Follow you around, hope you fall in love. But they don't see you like I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. All your friends, they see it too. That I'm the one who looks you in the eye. Speaking like I mean it, what's inside, I don't want. No desire to try and play the part. But I'm the one who made it to your heart. Yeah, I show up on time, I know you need that love. Everything that you don't hear enough I fly you out to Paris See the way they staring Always on my mind, you know I need that love Yeah, I show up on time, I know you need that love Tell you everything that you don't hear enough I fly you out to Paris See the way they staring Always on my mind, you know I need that love You know I'm always one step ahead of you Holding open doors when you're walking up Cause they don't see me like you do, yeah There's nothing I won't do for you I'll be there for you I'll be whatever you need for me I'll be even when it's hard Just know I'll be holding it together Girl, you know that's on me Yeah, I'm the one who looks you in the eye Right here, I was using the stick of my broom To push out all the things that Jimena decides to throw back here behind the TV and I also was going to dust everything in the back cords, the back of the TV, and just fix all those cables in the back because that's been in my mind that I'm always seeing the cables sticking out and it's just really bad looking. So I did fix that. And now my son and I were going to start flocking the tree and getting it ready for decorations. Christmas, no, spread a little Christmas, Christmas 
it got super late on this day, friends. So I decided to wait to do the Christmas ornaments on the tree tomorrow. That way Kimberly could help me while Jimena was taking her nap and we could do it together. But I did want to help Jimena decorate her baby Christmas tree that we got for her in Walmart. I believe it was about $10. We also got her a little pack of ornaments that had little gnomes, little spheres, and candy. It was so cute. She was very excited. Kimberly was helping her as well. She didn't really get the hang of hanging the christmas ornaments on the tree but she was super excited and i did get her a tree one because her brother and sister do have their own tree in the room so i didn't want her to feel left out and also because that way she was going to be more focused on her tree than the big tree that we have in the living room and that way maybe she wasn't so gravitated towards grabbing the big ornaments and the breakable ornaments which she only broke one till this day so that is working and yeah she's not really touching the big tree because she has her baby little tree and right here friends i am just using some of the paper that they use in hobby lobby to wrap your breakable ornaments and i'm stuffing it in the bottom of the tree because that's what i put like to give some height and i actually use a throw blanket instead of a tree skirt i do prefer this look over the tree skirt but i don't know what do you guys think let me know what you guys prefer We did take a break and went to go get some groceries, came back home, had some lunch and I did want to organize these spins because this was actually one of my Christmas spins and it was still full of baptism things and decorations that I hadn't had the time to put away and this bin so that's what i was doing and of course jimena was helping me she wants to know everything that i'm doing and wants to help so of course she was around me I did help Kimberly put up her Christmas tree as well. I helped her put in the ribbon and flock it and she put all her decorations in, especially her favorite one, which is this little squirrel. finally decorated for christmas we were actually watching a christmas movie and i said did want me to show his christmas tree and christmas decorations he put up and these were it he was so happy with the end result and i thought it looked so cute but thank you so much for coming with us friends and i will see you guys on the next one bye friends